Hello, hello, hello. My name is Kevin Uwasu Itoy. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Teach Yourself Test Automation.com. We are on day 32 and we are looking at test ng XML file. Right? Yesterday we, we looked at uh, creating a test ng uh, project and a test ng package and we also created a test ng test case and we executed our first test ng test case yesterday on day 31. Right, so today we are looking on test ng test uh, test ng XML files. Right, so what have we learned so far? If we jump back into our XM, I mean our Eclipse, we what we've learned so far is that we under a test ng class we can have multiple test cases. Right, and we've also learned that the iterate test annotation indicates a test case. Right. So anything underneath here would act as a test case within this test method, right? A test, me a test method is just the same as a test case, okay? Right, so if we want to create multiple test cases under this test class, on, under this class, right? What we have to do is copy this and put it there, right? Obviously one test case, and another cannot be called the same name. That's why you see the red underlining there. So we'll just change that to test first, first case two, right? And then we could do it again if we want to have three test cases inside that class, okay? And we just do that. And then again, we name this to three. Now we have three test cases under that test that class right that class name our class name here is first case first case right so that's our method this is all our method is in within our method we have three test cases okay so now if we run that on the test ng level if we run that so test ng test run we see that we've executed three test cases right <clears throat> now these videos are all about creating a test ng XML file and executing that test ng XML file, right? So also you can use your test ng XML file to execute multiple test cases. Right? So up until this moment, we've been teaching ourselves single test in and creating single functional test automation test cases, right? But with test ng, you can run as many of those test cases in one go. Right, so that's what test ng is all about, and also you can use the test ng XML file to do the same thing to run and do loads more, loads, loads more that we'll see in subsequent lectures. Okay, right, so let's see how you execute your test ng, test ng XML file, how you create it. Right, so you click on your project folder and you go down to test ng and you go to convert to test ng right and you click next at this screen and then you just click finish so you notice that your test ng file has been created down there right and now if you double click you see what your test ng file looks like right this is what your test ng file looks like and the class name is made up of the test ng um, test ng project yeah so that was our this is our project name so now it's made up of the package name right so prod one is package name and your test case right and your test case or your method right or your class sorry your class and your method right so that's what this structure looks like for a test XML file, right? So now to execute your test cases from your X in uh, your test ng XML file, all you do is you go to your test ng XML file, you right click, you go down to run as. Now you see it's test ng suite, right? When you run at test ng level, test case level, it's test ng test. But when you run from the XML, Test ng XML level, it's test ng suite. So if we click run, as test ng suite, and we wait, we should have the same thing, right? We executed 
three test cases, right? And because we call all of our test cases hello, <laughs> we've executed three test cases, no failures and no skips, right? We called all our three test cases hello, so that's why we've got three hellos down there, right? We could change that. But hello just indicates that if you put all your code within those test cases, all your code will execute, right? We are just using print print line code to print that to show that it will work, right? So that's what we'll be doing going forward, right? We'll not be using any real code. At the end, when we come to form our, uh, the whole uh, uh, automation test framework from scratch, then that's when we'll use real code, okay? So that's day 32, over and done with. We have created our test ng.xml file and we've also ex executed our test ng.xml file. So thank you very much to all my loyal subscribers out there. I love you guys and to anyone who has not subscribed yet subscribe follow the dream so it's all about learning 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 and sharing 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 right encouraging people to self-educate self-educate self-education is the new currency right in progressing yourself right so thank you again and stay blessed bye